Are we really driving to Brooklyn? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I told her that so that she would get off my nuts. Uh huh. All right, welcome to Higurashi. Are we we're, recording? We're recording. <laughs> we're I clicked record button right, because I good. clicked button. Because we're good. We're good. We're good. We're uninsured um, motorists. Yeah. Well, welcome back to, to the uh, uninsured motorist podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna sell my fucking car and just buy a motorcycle. So what, you can die when you get hit and run? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't have to fucking pay for it? Yes! <laughs> car insurance! Woo! Yeah. Getting older! Woo! Oh yeah, the gamers aren't coming today because they're fucking lame. <laughs> yeah, one of them's eating with their family and the other one is like... Oh, hey, the other one, that one's not coming, so I'm not going. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, that's, oh, hey, 285's the shit show. Why don't you just come here instead? You mean on the same highway that you would use? Oh, yeah, you know, of course. Why, why don't you just do that? He has messaged me nine times. Your father is very <laughs> needy. <laughs> Sorry. He did fucking... Don't... No. Why did I say it like that? Can, can don't know. Yeah, don't know. Well, this is why I object to having Discord full screen the entire time. But I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it, it's it's relevant. It's on Sunday. He's a busy man. He's got shit going on. This is uh this is uh this is you. This is you. Is We're this... starting off with you. Who? Miss Chie? I think so. Yeah. Oh shit. Yo. All right, Chie Gaming. Oh, hello, it's me, Chie. <laughs> oh, President, if you would. Oh, oh Shion's at school. Shion's at the school. I oh, forgot that's where we God. are. Oh, oh no. Oh God, oh no. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, I forgot where we were. Okay, we're Shion Gaming. Mm. It's me, Shi. Oh. <laughs> That's how she sounds. It catches me off guard every time. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. By the way, when are we gonna be like, yeah, he go on twelve. Yeah, he go at twelve. Smiling. Both stays up till two a.m. <laughs> Gets no sleep. <laughs> Why are we retarded? <laughs> Smiling. Kason. For a moment, I forgot that the class president was me. Uh, 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 uh I'll rise. Atta boy, Mion. She uh... Looks like you didn't get enough sleep. I know it's very hot at night lately. What? But try to get as much sleep as you can. All right, everyone? Mion sleeps in a house with no AC. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. She has, like, one of those old, like, Paper door, paper wall houses. Yeah, but I, I, I guess that's like a strange thing for me to hear. Oh, yeah, I know it's hot outside lately, so you probably didn't sleep well. It's like... It's because you have American privilege. <laughs> we are very privileged. We are also we, better than the Europores. <laughs> we have not 19, what? Was this 78? 83. Well, uh, this I'm, would I'm thinking be, of Arasaka. This would... It's not Arasaka. Arasaka! <laughs> Thinking of Akasaka. Akasaka. <laughs> Bro, I can't. <laughs> In a far flung year of 2020, uh, 2013, uh, the Akasaka. The Akasaka Tower is gonna get nuked! <laughs> gag it was every no everyone's bruce willis and yeah, then everyone's bruce willis, yeah. <laughs> the, the bruce, bruce willis the Akasaka bruce willis tower. tower is gonna get destroyed in the far-flung future of 2013 it's, it's the bad ending of die hard <laughs> <laughs> okay is it gonna it's gonna be my god i was thinking about akasaka with it being 79. 
So we're in what, 83? I think we're in 82. Yeah, because I was going to say, Keiichi shows up in 83. We're pre, we are pre-June 82. So you're telling well, me... I think we're in June 82. Just you're like telling me that 1982 rural Japan, every house did not have air conditioning? Big surprise. You, Europe doesn't have air conditioning today. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That, that is that is factually correct. <laughs> Certified Euro for a moment. <laughs> Certified. Yes, ma'am. I'm not sure this place can be called a school. Because there is so many different age groups. It's like a kindergarten and an elementary school blended together. Since I'd heard already about what this place was like, I didn't feel that uncomfortable. It wasn't too difficult to act like me on here. Ah! Uh, uh, ah! Uh! There he is. My motherfucking boy! As Sis told me, Satoshi Kun looked exhausted. I said hi to him, but he ignored me. Since I knew what he'd been going through, his pain looked apparent to me. I was interested in another person in this classroom. Rat, 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 rat. Sadako, Satoshi Kun's little sister. Okay, good. No. no! It's Doomer Rat! She looked as worn out as Satoshi Kun. When, when are you gonna put this, this face on, on your uh, Discord as a uh, Doomer emote? Sadako Doom. <laughs> Sadako Doom. Emotionless, like an abandoned doll. I can probably find. You, it's literally, I can send yeah, you the fucking. Say, if you want, send me the emote for it. Everybody in this room was aware of their circumstances, but no one could do anything for them. So they just acted as though nothing was wrong. Tatanagaroshi? Oh, uh... Mion would only let me have this one day. If I slacked off even a little bit, today would be over with quickly. I had to figure out what I should do in this limited time. I should probably talk to Satoshi-gun. About what? Anything goes. Cheer him up. Sympathize with him. Anything will do. More than anything, I just wanted to chat with him. However, Sis told me. Oh, manga gamer. Sis HD told me? <laughs> Sis HD? Interesting. She said Satoshi-kun didn't communicate much with her lately. And he had distanced himself from her. I figured I shouldn't talk to him too casually. I wanted to, but maybe it was better to leave him alone. I needed to keep Sis's warning in mind, but instead, I decided to ignore them. She walks over there and her hands are in his pants. Yeah? <laughs> like it. in his pockets, dude. Okay. She's got to put candy in there. Then why did you <laughs> grab balls? The, why was your hand gesture grabbing balls? Because that's where, how I grab candy out of people's pockets. Because if you if you horizontal my hand, it's... I think you were grabbing a dick and balls with that hand gesture. I don't, I'm, I'm not, not so sure about Shion is you, not you grabbing his cock and balls. You went for the bulge? No, she's grabbing the can she, she, She's like an old grandma with the little strawberry hard candies. And she's like, oh, Satoshi-kun. And then she waddles over there and puts little candies in his pockets. Okay, buddy. She's gotta make him feel better. <laughs> if you say so. Can I get the grandma she on edit? She'd be like what? Ugh. 50? Oh, she's in a manga. 40? As old. How old is she now? She, she would be... She's like... I think she's 18 and... 84. So, so, 18. 60, 66 is the year she's born? 1966? You're going to do some quick math real quick. He's going to pull out the calculator. MILF. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen, wait, no, wait, have we seen her mother yet? No. <laughs> You telling me there's a MILF in Igarashi? Shion would be 56 for the viewers at home. 
Got a rep for Canonically, the they like, <laughs> like <laughs> as time goes on, they they just cycle their appearance. Like, oh, we haven't seen. I don't think she has a sprite, but you haven't seen her either. But like the way she, the Odeo looks, mm-hmm. and how Mion's mom looks, and how Mion looks, just cycles. <laughs> it just cycles as time passes. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, I, I looked for Satoshi Kun during lunch break. He was walking as if looking for a place where he could be alone. I caught him in the hallway. Satoshi Kun. He turned around, startled by my voice. His facial expression surprised me. He was scowling, clearly a sign of rejection. But I couldn't hesitate. I'd lose my only chance if I did. Hey, um, how are you? <laughs> Xion would fumble. Xion, Xion is currently <laughs> fumbling as yes. we speak. Oh, we are yeah. watching a slow train wreck. <laughs> we are watching the slow mo of the football guy. Football guy. Of the quarterback just. Bouncing the ball between his hands as it has they fall to the ground. We are watching it in motion right now. <laughs> Xion is the type of uh Xion's the type of bad bitch that only knows how to fumble. She she has no game at all. Mm-mm. Xion like will like act like she has game like with Keiichi you know uh-huh, she like acts uh-huh, like she uh-huh. has game and all that but the second but like, the section she she catches some actual feelings she's like yeah, ah, 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 yeah, ah, yeah. Ah. she 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 fumbles so hard <laughs> he gave me a look as if saying do I look fine to you <laughs> I never expected to see an expression like that on his face he looks like he has normally I I know they were describing me, sorry. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> You're reading a book, by the way. I'm sorry, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> My pictures don't look accurate enough. <laughs> this picture book <laughs> yeah. doesn't have pop-ups, so it doesn't work. <laughs> Could you imagine Higurashi with pop-ups, like his apocalypse pop-up book? That would go so hard. <laughs> I felt like my heart was being torn into pieces. The fucking, the chapter where Keiji's beating the shit out of me on and <laughs> Rin and the, it's just, there's a, it's just, it's him standing up there with their bodies and the, the little flap with the back going up and down. <laughs> I was, I was, I was gonna say they got one of the little pull tabs that like moves his arms <laughs> up and down and she <laughs> Ryukishi should hire us, honestly. We'd make great merchandise. <laughs> We're a great idea guys. Let us write Psychonia. We're a great idea, guys. <laughs> yeah. As Tyler cries internally at the mention of the name. Play the clip. Play the clip. You know the one. (laughs) As I looked down, he spoke to me. I felt a little glad, but the next thing he said changed that. Satoshi voice. Yeah, it's Satoshi. Satoshi (laughs) voice. Stappy duck every time. I love the Satoshi voice so much. I'm fine. Is there anything else? Ouch! Uh? I'll get going if there isn't. Because I want to be alone. Uh, okay. I guess you're tired from work. I'm sure you want some time to yourself. You're working today too, right? <laughs> Where at? <laughs> She's fumbling so hard! <laughs> Sis had found several jobs for him. He worked at a few different places. 
He was helping out when necessary at any of the shops Meon introduced him to. As a result, he constantly had to do different tasks in different environments almost every time. <sighs> Sorry, I know. It's like 4 o'clock. <laughs> On top of that, he requested high paying jobs from Meon because he wanted a large sum of money as soon as possible. In other words, he chose to do mostly manual labor. Child labor? He was exhausted every day because he wasn't that physically strong. Does it matter? <coughs> and so didn't you know? Because you've already, you, because you helped me get, fuck me, because you helped me get the job. Fumble. Mion did help him get the job, yet Satoshi-kun didn't look thankful for that opportunity. This wasn't like him at all. It made me feel sad. <laughs> You're right. S sorry. Is that all? He sounded so harsh. Why was he being like that? Would he ever stroke my head again? <laughs> Shion doesn't care about his whole being. Shion doesn't care about how he's doing. Is he ever gonna pet my head again? <laughs> Shion's the best character in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Oh god! Oh, she's fumbling! I couldn't help my tears. They flowed onto my cheeks. God, I hope you're ready. I just... I appreciate that... Shion folds as hard as Mion does. I'm glad the Sonazaki twins are known to literally fold instantaneously. <laughs> Satoshi could look... Yeah. Satoshi-kun looked confused for a moment, but then he frowned again. <laughs> oh, this is Shion. Yeah, it's Shion. Uh, sorry. Uh, the coach said he, he wanted you to come back to practice. <laughs> I told him I quit, so I won't be going back. Oh, man. But, but maybe it's a good idea to work out from time to time. Y you know? Not interested. I didn't know why he was being so hostile towards me. Why did he hate me so much? I was left bewildered. Wh why? Uh, how come? Because I'm busy with work. Isn't it obvious? N no, I, I didn't mean that. Oh, Shion. <laughs> Why do you hate me so much? Why don't you ask yourself? Wow! <laughs> oh, no! A ask myself? W what? W what did I do? I don't understand, Satoshi-kun. I couldn't control my emotions any longer. Streaks of tears ran down my cheeks. Mion, what did you do? Satoshi-kun gave me a hateful glare and walked away without saying another word. I couldn't even stop him. If I tried, he'd hurt me. If I tried, he'd hurt me again with another cutting remark. I couldn't bear that, so I just watched him walk away. I wiped my tears and went back to the classroom. Why... what did Mion do? It I can't explain it right now. It's... Well, yeah, I know. I, I guess it's more of like a rhetorical question, I guess. Not she really. She didn't like... do anything, but... Okay. Because I, I was going to say, I'm like, wow. I'm like, Mian fumbled. <laughs> no, Mian, Mian, I mean, they're doing, she's doing, she's handling the situation wrong. Is okay, it? yeah. No, 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 that tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that tracks with Mian, yeah. Which isn't her fault. Yeah. Entirely. Yeah, but that still tracks mm -hmm. with me on. Whether it's her fault or not, it, that tracks. I heard somebody crying from inside. What's going on? I looked around the room to see. Sadako. It was Sadako. I hope you're ready for this. <laughs> oh, boy. Is this about to be another tragic rat scene? Oh, man. I saw her bento box on the floor. 
I asked one of her classmates. No oh boy. I asked one of her classmates what happened, and it seemed that Sadako had bumped into somebody's shoulder when she stood up to go wash the box out. That was all. But Sadako was crying as if afraid she was going to be chided badly. What happened was very minor. She could just pick up the bento box and things would be fine. It looked like the lid came a little loose, but it was definitely fixable. She didn't have to cry like that. Yet Sadako started begging through her tears. <laughs> oh no. It's just a repeat of Tatanaka Roshi! <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. It's gonna be one of those chapters, isn't it? Oh, man, I haven't done rat in forever. Yeah, see? It's the rat boy. There we go. I got it back. And, but it has to be sad. <laughs> sad rat. Help. Help me, Nini. <laughs> Because of what happened with Satoshi-kun, I couldn't suppress my emotions very well. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, she's about to fumble, so... Shion is about to literally lose the entire game in one singular sentence. <laughs> So instead, they exploded. <laughs> Acting is me on, by the way. This is gonna be a very long episode. Oh, fuck. I stormed up to Sadako while elbowing her classmates aside. <laughs> Was she gonna, like, headbutt her? <laughs> I grabbed her by the head. Uh, uh, yeah? Uh, yeah? And then what did you do, so, uh, so, Shion? What did you do next, Shion? Please, let me know what you did next, Shion. I, I, I grabbed her by the head, then threw her into the wall. Oh my fuzzy! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one of these, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh boy. It's gonna be a chapter. Sadako screamed. She didn't seem to understand what had happened. She was shedding tears and shivering. She must be wondering why I did that. You gonna give her a fucking knuckle sandwich while you're at it, Shion? <laughs> God, have you seen? <laughs> it's fucking seen, dude. Have you seen the like? It's an old Tumblr post where a dude accidentally kicks a guy in the face, and he I get, says, yeah, "Are you fucking, fucking sorry? sorry?" Yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm thinking of right now. <laughs> Do you know why I did that? Oh Jesus Christ! It's worse because I voice both characters. Yeah. <laughs> Help, Nini! Sadako cried for her brother's help again. And so... <laughs> They're just letting her do this?! No one has stopped her?! Like, Rinna's gotta be in class, you, you right? See, you, see, you see Mion walk up and start throwing Sadako by the head into the wall multiple times. You, you're telling me you aren't like a deer in headlights being like, WHAT THE FUCK?! <laughs> No, what is happening? No, that's fair. No, that that's fair. That that that's a fair. And point. this is happening like a, like 0.5 seconds. This happened yeah. like two times already. It's like yeah. what? What? Whoa! 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 <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Because no. that's class. Pre that's El Presidente right yeah, there. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, and so I grabbed her head and threw her again. Sonico stumbled and crashed into a desk. The desk fell and the contents of the drawer scattered about. This is one of these where, like, I expect Rena to just come in swinging. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I fucking would. Like, are you kidding me? Like, like I, as soon as, like, you know, the first throw is like the what the fuck, and then the second throw is you're already halfway through the right hook <laughs> as you're going in, you know? Sadako didn't even stand up. She just crouched and trembled while looking up at me. She's gonna throw her again. Are you ready for the third time? Are you ready for three times the charm? We're going to give Sadako blunt force head trauma this mm -hmm. chapter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She deserves it. Yes, sir. <laughs> help! Help! Nini! Nini! Oh, we got the scary music. If you weren't like that... If you weren't like that, Satoshi-kun wouldn't have to suffer. Don't you get it? That's what I wanted to say, but I was too angry to utter another word. I was just about to, like, continue on in the, the Shion voice. I was like, so I need her in the jaw, but then <laughs> she's already going on for me. I picked up a bunch of textbooks from the floor and threw them at her face. Is Chie, like, watching this? Like, this is, like, this is like, world star, <laughs> world star. This is lunchtime. She's in her, she's eating, she's eating uh, her curry yeah, right she's now. she's eating her curry in the teacher's lunch. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Cry as much as you want, but nothing's going to change. Did she just shoot her? <laughs> Why are you crying? Because you think somebody's going to help you? You don't have any idea what he has to go through to protect you, do you? Do you understand that? Do you understand what you're doing? <laughs> I didn't know this was going to be the Shion is based chapter. <laughs> you fucking... So in wrestling jargon, <laughs> this is what we call a heel turn. <laughs> Where Shion used to be face, you know, like a good guy, maybe leaning on the edge a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And then this is a full blown heel turn uh -huh. to the crowd. Yeah. This is yeah. the full blown fucking yes. heel turn. Yes, this is the like, heel this turn. This is the full heel turn. Uh huh. <laughs> you shouldn't exist. Shion said, you should kill yourself now. <laughs> uh huh. Die if you don't want to suffer. Oh! oh my goodness. Go fuck yourself. Don't hurt Satoshi kun. You deserve to die alone. You just deserve to die. Oh! God damn, dude. Yeah. Rat gaming. <laughs> Nini. Nini. <laughs> Her desperate cries only increased my irritation. Stop crying. Don't call your brother for help. Stop it. If you weren't like that, if only you... <laughs> I kept on throwing things at her. Sadako curled up to protect herself and cried even harder. So. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Having a thought. So we've established Rika is basically looping, right? Sure. In my head, can at uh -huh. least. Yeah. I wonder if when she loops, if it's a reset of eighty-three. Or if it's a reset of, like, her whole life. Uh, it gets discussed, but not for a long time. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm sure. But... Like, a lot, in a lot of time loop things, it doesn't, it's, it, they don't talk about these things, but... Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, because, you know, typically it's, like, a time pocket, and you do, like, six months, whatever, who right. cares. Um, but I'm very interested to know if Rika knew this was going to happen or not. That's what I think I'm curious about. Is whether or not, like, this is new to Rika, or if Rika knew that Shion was gonna show up and beat the shit out of Sadako and then, like, leave. Because <laughs> do we ever get to see Rika and Shion, like, interact? Not during that. the game? I don't, I don't think really. we do, yeah. Interesting. It, it, food for thought. At that point, a girl with long hair ran up and huddled over her. 
I knew who that was. Rika Ferude. One of Sadako's only friends. Please don't hurt hurt her. She's in a poor situation, so please don't hurt her. Rika knows. For sure. A hundred percent Rika knows. Yeah, Rika knows. It, she, she is a knower. It doesn't matter how pathetic she is. She shouldn't rely on Satoshi-kun all the time. Stop spoiling her. Satoshi-kun has to suffer so much because of her. Uh... Rika. Nope. Uh, keep going. Yeah. I guess. <clears throat> Keiji-kun. I don't- I don't fucking have- I don't have her voice. I still don't have her fucking voice. Alright. No, stop! Don't hurt her! Rika also became the target of my anger. <laughs> Shion, um, is pulling a... Who's the dude from Invincible? You know, voiced by J.K. Simmons? His dad? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, where he's just, like, beating the shit out of him? Yeah. That's... <laughs> Shion is really, uh, she's sure, sure doing stuff this chapter. <laughs> I'm trying to teach her something here. If you keep getting in the way, I'll crack your head open. <laughs> what? <laughs> she, it's wrestling. This has turned into a match. <laughs> oh my god, is that Shion with the steel chair? <laughs> <laughs> it's a school chair too, it's made of... It's a school chair. Yeah. <coughs> it's not like some like, it's not soft. It's not soft at all. I grabbed a chair and lifted it over my head. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt only a little if I threw things at them. This thing. What? It wouldn't hurt only a little if I threw this thing at them. <coughs> Rika tightly closed her eyes and covered her bot. Rika tightly closed her eyes and covered Sadako with her body. Almost read that has covered her body with Sadako. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care what the consequences would be. I didn't care if I hurt them. There it is. There it is. Stop! Me Chan! Rina returned to the classroom and shouted at me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh fucking A. This is, I think, the worst chapter in the game. Mm -hmm. Like, in the series, so this, far. Yeah. So in far. my very humble opinion, this is the worst one in the series. Mm -hmm. Like, this is easily the most, like, embarrassing, awful, to re like, worst chat. Like, there was some bad shit in Tatanic Garoshi, but this takes the cake. This is just hard. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> then Satoshi-kun rushed in while pushing Rina aside. Seeming to have grasped the situation immediately, he charged straight at me. Satoshi came in swinging. You think he wouldn't? <laughs> that's, that's exactly what he's gonna fucking do. That's kind of based. Until my body had hit the locker, I didn't understand what had happened. There was a loud crashing noise. I'd left a dent in it. I crouched there in pain. Sadoko. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, I, I, that was good. I thought that was. Are good. you all right? Nini! Nini! <laughs> Sadako pushed Rika aside, jumped at her brother, and started crying again. What's happened? Why are you. Why were you treated like that? Why? I. I didn't do anything, but. Me, I'm fine. She suddenly. <laughs> What's going on, Mion? I, I just, like, how does Mion recover from this? I have no idea. I don't know how Mion recovers from this. Like, actual class, for, like, you show up the next day and everyone, like, holds you at gunpoint. Uh -huh. And it's like, you're a fucking monster. And you're just like, I, I'm, I guess I'm a monster, guys. Like, you're like, my bad. Uh -huh. How does she recover? Because she does. We see that she's like cool with everyone, and then then fucking when Keiji gets here, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. Oh my fucking god, dude! 
Satoshi-kun. Satoshi-kun shouted at me while clutching his sister. He looked fierce. I just... What did Sadako do to deserve this? What did we do? Why do we always have to suffer like this? Why? Why? He released Sadako and rushed up to me, grabbing me by the neck. You said that I should ask myself so. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, that, that's Satoshi for sure. Because Shion didn't ask him this. So Mion must have asked himself, like, why, and then. Yeah. Because Shion would be like, ask what? Uh. No, it tracks. No, because in that conversation, he said, why don't you ask yourself? Yeah, because because he, he's, he's, he's talking about, what do we do? Why do we always have to suffer? And they, he grabs Shion, and he said, you said that I should ask myself, didn't you? So why don't you ask yourself? And that's why Shion's like, ask what? No, I... Yeah. No, I don't think so. It doesn't make any fucking sense for the previous conversation where... Where Satoshi said to Shion, why don't you ask yourself? And then Shion would say, you said that I should ask myself, don't, didn't you? So why no, don't you ask, why don't you ask yourself? This is a Shion line. Because why would, how, why would Satoshi say this? He didn't, he didn't say... That okay. he was not yeah, yeah, yeah. told, right, ask right, yeah, yourself. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you, I got you. Sorry, I, I took that as a, um, like, Mion said something to him before today, not as in, like, oh, we're going off. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, we're yeah, talking yeah, about, like, five yeah, minutes ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I was taking this as in a, like, Mion asked me a question the day before, like, no. type B. Because I'm thinking about, you know, him being pissed off at Mion and all that shit. Okay, I got you. You said that I should ask myself, didn't you? So, why don't you ask yourself? Ask what? Okay, yeah, yeah, you're, you're on the money. I know you feel like she's a burden on you. You always have to suffer because of her. You know that, right? If she were stronger, you wouldn't have to suffer. She's the one to blame. I <laughs> Shion is like punching Sadako in the face and looking at Satoshi and going, This is her fault! <laughs> I don't believe what I said was wrong. But after hearing it, Satoshi-kun went berserk. Yeah, no shit! <laughs> what the heck do you know? Ow! Uh. Based. This is what we learned that Satoshi-kun is based. Deserved. <laughs> this is why we know Satoshi-kun killed his aunt. This is how we know Satoshi-kun is a woman beater. <laughs> My man said, these fists are rated E for everyone. <laughs> like uncle, like nephew. <laughs> it runs in the blood. <laughs> Satoshi can grab my hair and threw me onto the wall, just like I did to Sadako. However, I wasn't going to back down. I no longer had any control over my emotions at all. So what? Shion's gonna start swinging? <laughs> uh, yeah. You spend so much time protecting her. She'll never stop relying on you until you stop doing that. What the hell do you know about us? Uh, what the heck do you know? You persecuted our parents, and now it's us? That's the way the- That's the way of the Thonazaki family, huh? You taught the Twitters for fun. Is it fun? Is it fun bullying us, huh? I love Satoshi. Who is this? Uh, I think it's teacher. It's you? Yeah. Can I hit next page and then double check? Probably. No. Oh, Rena. Stop it! That was Rena's voice. She stepped in, looking as fierce as a demon. I was gonna say, Rena will kick both of your asses, like, simultaneously. Satoshi-kun, please. Mi-chan doesn't have any bad intentions. <laughs> what?! <laughs> she wanted to help you, but she just lost control a little, okay? Shion is just like, you know, the, the speed bags? She's just like speed bagging Sonico's head. And Rita's just like, 
She didn't mean it, Satoshi. It's fine. She <laughs> didn't mean anything by it. Well, Shion's like, this is entirely her fault. I hate Sonico. <laughs> it's fine. She doesn't mean what she... It's fine. <laughs> what a psycho. An insane person. You want to give me a Satoshi mumble? Mm. Incredible. Thank Incredible. you. Satoshi-kun looked like he wanted to say something back, but he chose not to. You too, Mi-chan. I know how much you worry about Satoshi-kun, but you can't solve the problem like that. I think you understand, right? Since Satoshi-kun didn't say anything, I kept quiet too. <laughs> Here, Sadako-chan. You don't have to cry just because you dropped your bento box, alright? Do you feel better now? Sadako, I'll pick up the bento for you. <laughs> Rika started picking up the bento box while the owner continued to cry. Guys, can you help us clean up? The teacher will be back from the vegetable garden soon. This quarrel is over, so don't tell her about it, okay? <laughs> this works! <laughs> <laughs> the classmates looked at each other and nodded, then started picking up the stuff on the floor. Rena could have ended World War II. <laughs> Rena could have convinced Hitler not to invade fucking <laughs> Poland. She could have. She, after <laughs> hundreds of people were killed fighting on the border, Rena could have walked out there and gone, He didn't mean it, Poland. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Satoshi-kun, Mi-chan, why don't you guys shake hands as a sign of reconciliation? That's where they shake hands and then punch each other at the same time. Uh-huh. Uh, Shion? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to do this. Yes, you did! <laughs> Tears started to roll down my cheeks again. I'm sorry, too. You have nothing to do with our family situation. Uh, I'm sorry. Imagine having to apologize to Satoshi <laughs> in this situation. Okay. <laughs> Mi-chan, why don't you apologize to Sadako-chan now? She... <laughs> I was fine with apologizing to Sato... I was... Apologizing? I was fine with apologizing to Satoshi-kun, but I didn't want to apologize to her. Well, she unhates she... Sadako so much! <laughs> But the situation wouldn't be settled otherwise, so I reluctantly apologized. Sadako nodded, looking discouraged. <laughs> Shion is such a jobber. <laughs> After that, Rena let me go. My head ached, so I held it with both hands. What was that? What did I do? I didn't want to use this precious time to fight. The sis had warned me. She told me that I shouldn't talk to Satoshi-kun just like that. What did I come here for? I shouldn't have come here if I knew this was going to happen. Stupid. You're stupid, Shion. I was overcome by emotions because I was so worried about Satoshi-kun. When did things go wrong? Were they wrong from the beginning? I got into a fight with Satoshi-kun. This was totally the opposite of what I wanted. I regretted it. I hated myself for it. I couldn't blame myself enough. I just... You know when you're in grade school? Sure. Oh yeah, that's... Okay. We're both homeschooled, Shh. fucker. <laughs> you know, you know when you're in grade school? Shh. Neither of us know what that means! <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> An idiot. <laughs> I can't believe you tried I, to make a reference to something neither of us had experienced. I am so used to just having to like lie to people about <laughs> because like I hate having to like sit there and ex oh yeah I went to homeschool I did this yada yada so I just lie all the time right and so like I'm so used to talking to people that aren't homeschooled I, I just like forgot. <laughs> I went to homeschool and looked over to the other homeschooler and said, Do you know when we were in grade school? <laughs> Let me... 
<laughs> I love you, Connor. You fucking retard. <laughs> let me hold on. let me be clear. <laughs> you know, okay. Do you remember when we were in kindergarten? Sure. <laughs> and I, like, I went to a church for kindergarten. And like they would like tell the the like girls that like oh he's like picky on you because he likes you you know. I've heard the trope. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Shion shows up to school and beats the shit out of the, the guy she loves and is like, Oh no, how did I do this? It, it's just the reverse of the trope, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. If you if that's how you want to interpret it, Connor. I'm thinking about, remember when we were in grade school and you just, <laughs> he just double takes and just goes, sure. <laughs> and then it processes and then he just goes, Wait a minute. (laughs) (laughs) I I got to watch you. I got to watch you live process it. Like, I got to watch it live and in person. You react and knee jerk to a question, process the information, and then come to a separate conclusion. We both did the same thing. We both, like, were, like, operating in, I don't know anything about public school, but I will interact with your hypothetical anyway. But wait a minute. <laughs> Actually, no, neither of us have to do that! We're both homeschooled! <laughs> Higurashi is a nightmare. <laughs> the homeschooler looked to his right, to the other homeschooler, <laughs> and said... <laughs> At least I didn't say anything about, like, your middle school. <laughs> we both pretended oh, to be normal people there. I know. <laughs> that, that was just me and the boys actively lying to each other, knowing the other person is lying. <laughs> my, my, my world had been torn apart. I wish the sky would fall and kill me. Sky you fall? five seconds ago. <laughs> I hope so. My car is dirty. I think it rained earlier, but the wind's blowing right now. Sis sounded both amazed and confused. You know I'm... Mion! <laughs> you know I'm busy with the festival preparations, but you certainly made things more complicated. Sorry. Sis tried to say something, but she stopped in the middle. After listening to a few complaints... I started telling her about everything that happened today. Sis had to pretend that the trouble I caused today was her responsibility, which must have been very taxing for her. (laughs) Um, Oh, Xi'an, you sweet summer child. (laughs) Hey man, I just crashed your car and told it, but like, do you think I could take out the other one? (laughs) I got a date tonight. <laughs> I just crashed your one-of-a-kind Porsche into a ravine, but, like, you mind if I take out the Lambo tonight? <laughs> Literal hours after totaling your first car. Oh, my God. So, I won't get the chance to trade spots for a while. Yeah, no shit, Mion. Hey. I think you should be more aware of the hassle I have to go through. Yeah, you're right. Sis had been sympathetic, but maybe I pushed her too far this time. Of course she'd be hesitant to trade spots, considering what I did today. The atmosphere felt awkward, so we both were silent for a while. Meon moment. If you were to get another chance, what would you do, Xion? you could have everything you ever wanted <laughs> in one moment one chance you better lose yourself you know the Eminem song you lose this is yourself. an Eminem this is what you better lose yourself to the moment you something something everything you ever done you only got one shot one chance to blow <laughs> this opportunity comes once in a lifetime you know? You know, his arms are weak. 
No. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. I'm just glad I'm not, like, the generic Eminem fan. <laughs> I love Eminem. I feel like it. I feel like it'd be, like, a hard... It, I feel like it's a hard life. So... It's a really hard life until you realize that, like, every rapper in the game from the 80s to early 2000s is either best friends with Eminem or hates him because he's a white guy. Mm -hmm. And then it makes things a lot better. <laughs> you know, Mike Tyson, um, there's, a, there's an interview with Eminem, very quick tangent. Mike Tyson looks at Eminem and just goes, you know, you're the only white guy that ever know, knew what being an n-word is <laughs> just mike like, tyson? it's yeah the iron mike tyson wow and he just says that to eminem and i think they're sitting there with like i think it's 50 cent it's either 50 cent or someone else and and he says that and eminem just goes i uh <laughs> um th thank you <laughs> <laughs> and it's the greatest moment i've seen with fucking him it's so fucking funny all right, here we go. The Shion, the Shion face turn. We're face turning here. We heel turn, now we gotta turn back face to get the crowd back on our side. No, it's too late. It's over. I'll probably... <laughs> She's never coming back. That was a reasonable question. I wasn't prepared to answer, though, as I would probably just fight Satoshi again. If I had a chance to go to school once again and see Satoshi-kun, what would I do? I would apo- Would I apologize to him about today? I don't think that would work. That might even upset him again, no matter how hard I tried. Okay, here's something that he was saying. It was the Sonazaki family who had been harassing his. It would only be natural for him to hold a grudge against us. But why was he only expressing that now? I've been a Sonazaki to him all along. Satoshi-kun stroked my head even though he knew that I was me on Sonazaki. Sis, do you think that Satoshi-kun is holding a grudge against the Sonazaki family? I think so, yes. It was our family that initiated the persecution of the Hojo family, making them into scapegoats. Even after the dam conflict, it wasn't easy for the Hojo family to live in Hinamizawa. Given all of that, it's not surprising that Satoshi-kun hates us. The Sonazaki family, who put his family in a devastating situation. But, why now? Why is he only expressing that grudge to us now? Use your brain, please. Hmm. Why is it- why is this happening now? If he wanted to- Oh. Ah! If he had rejected me in the first place, I wouldn't have wanted to get close to him. I can't believe she owns a fem cell. Brooklyn? <laughs> Brooklyn? I, hold on, I gotta show you this fucking thing. There's if I can no, find it quickly. There's no shot. I, I'm gonna keep going while you're looking. Mm. My tears wet my cheeks. I didn't bother to wipe them. It's only natural for him to hold a grudge against the Sonazakis. There's nothing unusual about it. Rather, why has he been treating me like a friend? I knew how stupid this question was. I think... Uh, I lost... Here you go. Yeah, it's me on first. <laughs> you send that to Brooklyn right now. <laughs> DM it to her? Yeah. Okay. I've, I've sent that image to Brooklyn like three times. Oh, really? I, I, yo, yeah. <laughs> I, I, send, I would like send it to her every couple of weeks when it showed up in my feed um, before she started dating James. <laughs> And then once she was like, yeah, I'm dating James, I've only doubled down in her being a femcel. <laughs> I think it's because he was mature. I sent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't understand it. <laughs> he'd been treating me as a friend because he was mature? But now that he'd become more stressed mentally and physically, he's decided to reject me? No matter how hard I thought about it, I couldn't find anything to fault him with. If there was somebody to blame, <laughs> it'd be somebody I'd never accused before. Why did the hag decide to persecute the Hojo family? Uh? 
Um, um... It was his parents who supported the dam project, right? <coughs> Satoshi-kun had nothing to do with it. Why was he included? Why? Mion couldn't say anything in return. Actually, is Satoshi involved in the dam project? Was that... His parents were. I know, but I'm saying, like... <clears throat> Him? He just went to school. <laughs> okay. Actually, it wasn't at all hard to guess the reason. The hag didn't give any specific order to harass the Hojo family. She just thought the Hojo family was getting in the way. The people around her noticed what was bothering her and took steps to get rid of it. Though, of course, she must have known how influential... What? Influential. If, she must have known how... You just put the wrong syllabus on the... <laughs> the wrong... Fuck, what's the word? I had it. I just had it! It's a law. It's a level. The wrong empathis on the... You put the wrong... It's a syllable, Tyler. You put the wrong emphasis on... It's a syllable. I know, that's the joke! Oh, I thought you did it on purpose! Or no, sorry, I thought you did it on accident! You you put the wrong empathis on the wrong syllable. It's a joke. I, I thought I'm you phrasing did, it. I, I thought you did it on accident, so I thought you just looked at me with sheer confidence and, and said syllable. You went the wrong syllable. <laughs> it's just like, wait, wait a no, minute. Okay. You put the empathis, em, empathis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> I'm saying wrong too early. I thought you did it by accident. I thought you just like were like, yeah, it's a syllable. <laughs> Though of course, she must have known how influential her work or influent, influential. Influential. She must have known how influential her words were. She didn't just think it. She gave what she must have known would be interpreted as an order. She's the one to blame for initiating the attack on the Hojo family. What Brooke would say? <laughs> I, bet, I bet, he, bet he saw this on iPhone and thought it, he would be he would be so sinister. Lol, kind of cringe. <laughs> it's not even true. <laughs> Lol, so true. <laughs> he's just angry that he's a virgin. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that goes hard. <laughs> that goes hard. I agree. <laughs> Classic misogynist. <laughs> No, I, I love the film cell meme, and then I saw the thing on Instagram, and I sent it to her on Instagram, and I saw, like, two more on iFunny, and I sent her those on Instagram. <laughs> and then that's when she was here, that one Higurashi, and I just kept calling her a film cell, and she just kept molding. I'm like, oh, we have a new one. It's just free. <laughs> you said that the Ferude priest w wasn't mature because he didn't cooperate, right? Is this the same scenario? The Hojo family wasn't mature because they didn't act in accordance with the other villagers. That's why the hag decided to punish them, isn't it? Mion couldn't say anything in return, meaning that my accusation was the truth. They already <laughs> punished the Hojo couple. Feel free to bring them to the torture room in the garden and chop their fingers off or something, but leave Satoshi-kun alone. Satoshi-kun has nothing to do with this. What did he do to deserve this? What did he do wrong? Answer me. Answer me, Mion. Mion. <clears throat> oh, Jesus, Satoshi lore. Very well. Please take care of the matter. Goodbye. What? Mion suddenly changed her tone and hung up. She must have done that to escape from my questions. I was furious. I started redialing the number. But then I remembered that we decided she hang up the phone after using that phrase when she saw the hag was coming. I doubted she actually saw the hag. But it was the rule, so I couldn't call back for a while. I went to the bathroom to wash my face and cool down. I turned the faucet. The water felt lukewarm. It didn't help me cool down at all. I'm disgusted by my own childish Miss, I just wanted to fill my void. I didn't care about him. Considering that, satoshi Kud was very generous. But I didn't know if I can forgive Sadako. That's a different story. Notebook, page 26. 
Oh, look, you can see the the lines. No, yeah. One's a black screen. You know, I feel like I'm slowly becoming like unhinged. <laughs> yeah. 